um, a little romance. Hey, hey, guess what? We're live. We're the Snarky Sisters. I'm Diana. And I'm Lisa. Happy Valentine's Day. Yay. Mm, my favorite holiday. We're Wait. welcoming Jeff Smith today. Hi, Jeff. Yay. Here's our song. It's the Sunday Summer Spotlight with the Starkey Sisters. We're live at half past noon. We're on time today. Yes. Right here on our Facebook page. With our friends, we will commune. Because, because of communists. <laughs> Featuring the Jeff Smith and some of his fabulous tunes. It's our Valentine's Day special. Everyone's supposed to kiss. Yuck, yuck. Here's a guy whose band is named The Human Wilderness. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he grew up in West Virginia. The charming Mr. Jeffrey T. That stands for totally terrific. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Never such a boisterous introduction. You can use that if you want for your promo stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll save the replay and uh, <laughs> record it and put it at the front of everything. Put it on TikTok. <laughs> a legend in his own mind. That's right. So cheers to Jeff Smith on Valentine's Day. Happy I have Valentine's love... Day to you. Cheers to you. I have love potion number nine with turpentine. I have love potion ink. number 10. Okay, <laughs> cheers to Jeff Smith. Woo-hoo. All right. Mm. You know, love potion number 10 is mentioned in that song. What? It yeah. is not. What, what Where? is that? Yeah, at the end it says, uh, I had so much fun, I'm going back again to see what it's like on love potion number 10. I don't know oh, that lyric. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excellent. And uh, it was, I think it was first recorded in uh, 1959 or 1956 by the Clovers. Oh. The Clovers, not the, not the coasters, the Clovers. Wow. Right. I've got them. Because the one that we were all, well, we heard it by the Searchers first, I think, and then. Yeah. Uh, well, I heard the then coasters in, first, I thought. Well, the coasters, I think, did it in the early 60s. But it's it was a hit several times. Well, it's there's a, a lot song. of good love songs out there, and we thought we'd start off, you know, getting us all in the mood for Valentine's Day songs. So I thought this was a good one, right? Right, Diana? Love, love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. Some sweet talking girl comes along singing a song. Don't mess around, you just gotta be strong. Just stop. Stop. Cause I really love you. Stop. Stop. I've been thinking of you. No, really, Look. stop. 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 In what? the name of love. What? what? Before That's you a Valentine's no. Day song. It's a it's, terrible it's... song. Come on, we have standards I'm... here, Lisa. Like, okay, no, like what? No Captain and Tennille songs. Oh. All right. I All thought right. it was the captain and toenail. <laughs> Stop it. Day. I even made cards for you and Jeff. Jeff. How nice. This is Happy Valentine's Day, Jeff, from the Snarky Sisters. Diana oh, is the snarky one. Thank and you. And that is for you. I and I made one for Valentine's Diana. Day cards. <laughs> Diana. Happy VD. Thank you. That's nice. It's appropriate. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Without further that ado. Was snark. Now that was snarky. <laughs> that was. I have to agree. That was. Thank you. Without further ado, we want to introduce our wonderful guest, Jeffrey T. Smith. Um, <laughs> we love Jeffrey T. Smith. 
Um, by the way, tips for Jeff are graciously accepted at yes. paypal.me backslash JTS music. And that's the link is on here. With inspiration and influences from early classic country, blues and pop, from his beginnings in Huntington, West Virginia, Jeff Smith counts J.J. Cal, Randy Newman, Jeff. Ray Davies, John Lee Hooker, <laughs> Raymond Carver, Mark Strand, and many other blues folks and local artists as spiritual mentors. Jeff's Appalachian drawl slides in and around his guitar playing. That is a combination of finger picking, flat picking, strumming, and banjo uh, frailing. He tells elongated and elliptical stories about the songs, their characters, his family, and his life, and how they are all connected. Jeff was honored to have his composition, I Never Wanted You to Go, alongside Roy Orbison, Ellis Paul, and the Bacon Brothers on the Trinity Rose Foundation release, Vision, Hope, and Love. Mike Cotter, Washington Area Music Award Association winner, also covered one of the rockers from the human wilderness, Hideaway Rockin' on his Radio Saves album. So Jeff's songs have been featured on US TV on programs, The Young and the Restless, Army Wives, and the independent murder mystery, Teach Me Tonight, in a European ad campaign for Opel Aut Automobiles. And most recently on the CBS hit comedy, Young Sheldon, woo! Oh, that's good. So he performs solo and with his band, The Human Wilderness, uh, in nightclubs, house concerts, and festivals. Well, pre-COVID, right? <laughs> um, and now he's doing his Saturday evenings diversionary tactics and new tunes at noon on Facebook Live. Welcome, Jeff Smith. Woo! Woo thank you, thank you. That's I a lot of accomplishments, it. man. You've been Woo. very busy lately, too. What song was used on The Young and the Restless? Um... A song called uh, "A Foolish Thing." And was that the one? What which show was it that uh, someone was your, your song that was on the TV and someone walked by and that's your song is on the TV or am I thinking of someone else? I don't know. Someone who you're thinking of? Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, the the one on Young Sheldon. Uh, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Um, these two couples are in a van and they turn on the radio, but they're talking. And my song was like one of the songs that are playing on the radio. And I, I had to turn out the lights and put on headphones and to actually be able to hear it. But <laughs> hey, what you song know who was just, that? That was a foolish thing. The foolish, oh, okay. Because uh, Laura Barron and um, Cletus just had um, Old Lang Syne was on The Young and the Restless. So. You uh, DC area people are are like getting attention from the young and the restless man, so that's good. Yeah, I know they they've used uh, two of my songs fairly extensively, and then a couple others in passing. Very cool. But that goes back that goes back to five or six years ago. Well, what? But they did they did actually just use one. Um, from um, oh no, it was from a, 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 another show. Used one from um, the uh, up at the late night moon record with the the quartet. Good. And then uh, they would sent me a a, a, a a a request for songs that were recorded in the eighties, not just songs that sounded like they were recorded in the eighties. Right. And they were they were trying to get it into that Stranger Things. Netflix show. Oh wow! But that, but, <clears throat> but that didn't pan out. But then, last fall they used one of those songs in. Um, I don't remember if it was Young and Restless. I can't, I can't remember, but it was a song called Smart Boy. Nice. Well, good for you. And, and I bet they just used the uh, the instrumental parts because the it's the lyrics wouldn't be something that you'd hear on. The young and restless, normally. Yeah, really cool. So, Jeff, what would you like to play for us today first? Well, in keeping with the the theme, I, I there's a song that I wrote as part of a a collection of songs um, that I never put out, and but I always like this one song. Well, I liked several of them, but this one is called "You're Funny Man," and I I don't. I don't do it very often. So we'll see. I may fall out of my chair trying to do it. But. 
And uh, this is a, imagining a romance between a uh, circus performer, magician, mm -hmm. and a, uh, the object of his affections. He's trying to convince her that Just set yourself free And that will do You don't have to cry Anymore When you are alone And walking the floor Cause here I am Stop your weeping eyes and smile for me. Don't ask yourself why, don't you see? People ask about you, and they say to say hard. I always tell them. You're doing fine Cause here I am Your funny man I'm dedicated to your survival uh, One man personal Ted revival No situations too sad for me When I come calling in my hat, there is a rabbit and, of course, the cat. A bunch of roses for your hair. There will be no fear. Now that we're a pair Cause here I am Your funny man I'm dedicated to your survival A one man personal Ted revival No situations too sad For me Yay! Yay! Nice. I made it through, kind of. <laughs> no, that was great. But the, yeah, there was a, a series of songs that I was writing years ago that, were, in my mind, it was like a musical, and that's when I invented the character Jeffrey T. Millionaire, <laughs> and uh, he would. The stage production in my mind took uh, took place with the main character in bed and always making money through the mail and <laughs> uh, it was kind of convoluted. But I never did pursue it other than write a bunch of songs for it. Well, you got the songs. Go with it. It was a right, song. You got the oh, time, yeah. right? 
<laughs> well, now I do. Back then, I was still pushing out hours to uh, other people. So you've been doing a lot of performing online. Yeah, I do the twice a week, and then sometimes I go to um, some open mics or something like that. Um, there's one out in Wyoming I've been doing. Well, they call it a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the Folk Club of Reston Herndon has their... Uh, weekly thing on Tuesdays. Um, so I've been, you know, it, it gives me a focus so I don't go completely off, off, off my axis. Yeah. And so I, uh, how, how do, do you like performing online? Do you like the responses that you get from people? Um, is it weird to have to type in responses or, you know, well, I don't, I, I don't usually type, well, sometimes I'll say something after the thing, but while it's going on, because I use my phone, and a lot of times the stuff passes by quickly and I can't see it, and then other times just because it's far away and, you know, it's real tiny type. So, so how, I are usually, we, how are we hearing you right now? So tell our songwriter friends uh, what they're hearing, uh, how, you're, how you're streaming with us. We're using Zoom, but you have a webcam, and what are you using for audio? The webcam has a microphone. So it's like a Logi Logitech? Yeah. C920. All right. It's well, it sounds the, great. The, it's, well, thanks. It's one of the older ones. I think they have a, an updated one. I, I think I got this one about six or seven years ago because I thought at that time, of course, online streaming wasn't a thing, but I was thinking about video. And uh, I, I never could, because it's, you know, you, you set it in here. It's not something that you go out with. So but you, you, you use your um, iPhone for your shows, though. Is that correct? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's a little more portable. And um, I can, I haven't tested the 920 using my extension cable, because if you see this curtain over here, it's usually my backdrop. Yeah. And with my phone, I can get it all in there, and I could probably get it in with my 920, but I haven't really tested that out because I'd have to use an extension cable, and I don't know if I would start losing data or not. Yeah. Well, you sound great. How about, how about another song for us, Jeff? Okay. Um, this is a song called They'll Never Know. I did this with uh, my buddy... Uh, Steve Bridget had played the drums on it, and uh, Ron Rice uh, played acoustic bass. And it's from an album called Humphrey Piedmont's Revelation Well, but I haven't put that out yet because I have no idea what people are doing. I mean, they're not buying CDs, and you can't, I mean, it's just a exactly. So, I could, but you still have to make some CDs to send to the radio stations, and I don't know how tip, tipping is working for people, you know? It's, it's hit and miss on tipping, but um, the big thing for me is trying to in, engender a community, and uh, especially with the diversionary tactics. I just want it to be somewhere people can come by and hang out with their friends and, you know, with... With the ability of them being able to uh, talk to each other and comment, it's kind of like being at a bar, except now I'm privy to what they're saying. <laughs> no, you're right. It's a little, it's a little friendly gathering of your friends, and and that, and I feel like I've made some friends when I drop in too, even though I don't know them. You know? Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to play for us? This is called "They'll Never Know." It's, I usually refer to this song as a sad sack love song. Everyone that I know is crazy over you. Consequently, everyone is green. Because of the love I've shared with you, the 
darling, they'll never know how hard it was to show the love behind the pain of loving you. People call you a toll free and send you. Letters from around the world Your telephone is full of names Of lovers and acquaintances that you've made But darling, they'll never know How hard it was Darling, please let me know Before I have to go I just need assurance That you care at some time I hear your name everywhere That I go to forget They say you get around But just not around me anymore But darling, they'll never Hard it was to show the love behind the pain of loving you. Everybody whistle. <whistles> then that's as high as I can go. You know what? So, um, a, a very specific band popped into my head while you were playing that, and you, they, you should send it to them, and they should cover it for you. NRBQ. It sounded a lot like a one of their beautiful little. You know, that's things. that's not a bad idea. Except they write enough of their own <laughs> yeah, cool <probably>. songs. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. Or you know. Yeah. And they are champions of sad sack love songs. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, so now I have to ask the obligatory songwriter question. Uh, which comes first, lyrics or words, or do they come together, or do they come in pieces, and in spurts, or uh, is it all different all the time? And have you ever drummed uh, a song? You know, it's changed over, over the years, because uh, I used to um, write um, lots of you know, poems and lyrics in a notebook. And then I would go back and, uh, you know, with my guitar and figure out stuff to go with it and then change whatever needed to be changed. Um, but nowadays, it seems, I do a lot of what I call fishing. And that's usually just sitting around playing the guitar and then start out playing something I know, but um, it usually ends up, you know, playing a riff or a chord sequence that just recalls something, and then I'll get a, like a lyric idea and sing that about 200 times. 
um, so I have a, a, the pattern and everything ingrained, and then I can start filling in lyrics that make sense to what I was talking about. Hope that wasn't too long. No, that's, that's fine, that's fun. Are you writing a lot lately? I have a lot of stuff that I've, uh, that I need to finish. Um, I recently had, um, speaking of tips, which uh, I'm grateful for, but it allowed me to uh, get some gear that I wanted. And two of the things were um, a reference monitor amp, because I've been what? using a, a reference uh, mm -hmm. amplifier for mm -hmm. my monitors. And uh, because I'd been using a hi-fi uh, receiver, and um, this is a, an amp dedicated to it, and it's very clean, and I get a more accurate picture. And the other thing, I, I've written a bunch of stuff that I um, wanted to figure out a drum machine or a pad or something to pe play the drums the way I wanted to hear them rather than me setting up the, the kit and playing, which is kind of difficult to do now because even though I'm in the lower level, it drives the cat and the wife crazy. <laughs> what? And, yeah, and you'd just be amazed because it shakes what? the whole house. <laughs> Your drum kit does? <laughs> well, when I'm playing When it, you're yeah. playing it? <laughs> yeah. Maybe even if I'm just like touch. cat, yeah. <laughs> So we should do a sh shout out, guys, to some folks listening. Uh, hi there, Tommy Wright and Raquel. Hi there, Denise and um, Les Hatley. Hey, he was on uh, two, hey, two or three weeks Les, ago. Look. Les, yeah. look. Les, Les is got. more. Les is more, yeah. Look what I got, Lisa. Oh, you got Les's book. It's about the yeah. one of the heaviest books. It's, it's like 1,600 pages. Ooh, it's, it's beautiful, like though. Piece. Look at that. Yeah, it's very pretty. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, well, happy oh, Valentine's gosh. Day to everybody wow. listening. Yeah, very nice. Happy anti-Valentine's Day to everybody listening. Why don't you play another song, Lisa? Oh, how about... Muskrat Susie, Muskrat Sam, do the jitterbug out in Muskrat Land and they shimmy. What? Diana? I feel like throwing it's a, up. It's a what? love song. It's band. Band. Captain and Tennille. They're band. Yeah, they were a band. They were a band. Ugh, it's a pathetic Twilight Zone monster, that well, song. Well, what do you suggest? Uh, sure. Love, 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 love is not enough. Nup, nup, nup. I need better stuff, 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 stuff. Love is done for me. Hearts, 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 hearts. Stop it, pushy, blood, 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 blood. Yeah. Diana, it's Valentine's Day. People want to hear uplifting songs. That's not uplifting. Yeah, it is. It's no, it's not. Tempo. What? It's up tempo. I miss my band, my loud band. I know. I know. Someday soon, everyone will get their shots and we'll all go back to playing live again. Right, but in the meantime... That's what we hope, yes. <laughs> I think so. I, uh, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Jeff, play us something else. Tell us about what it's called. This is called We Got a Deal. Oh, I like this one. I've had all the bad days I'm ever gonna have. They're all behind me now that we have. No more lonely nights to pull us apart. I rest easy now that we have got a deal. She loves me, she loves me now. I don't want. that we have got a deal 
Every day I fall more deeply in love It's so simple now that we have got a deal I'm in a dream that feels so real It makes a difference now that we have She loves me, she loves me not I don't wonder about it We got a deal to stay together It makes a difference now that we have got We got a deal that nothing can erase We made a promise pressed face to face She loves me, she loves me not I don't wonder about it We got a deal Stay together, it makes a difference that we have got a deal. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's a real love song. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's from a little romance. Yeah. I don't think I've ever written a love song. Do you write them, Lisa? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've never written one love song? No. <laughs> what does that say about me? I guess well, I'm bitterly disappointed. I live in a state of bitter disappointment, I guess. <laughs> I, uh,. I often think they're all love songs in one degree or another uh, because there's a, there's a certain part of your your humanity that gets in there and, and usually it's about um, if it's not about a particular person it's about something or an event or a, a person that you don't have a romantic interest in um, to me they they come from a similar place. Well, what about that song goes? Alice, for the way you look at me. Come on, Diana. Oh, is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. And E is even more than any, any one that you adore and love. Any, any, oh, so what are you laughing at, Diana? Did you grow up watching Mitch Miller or something? Do you <laughs> know who Mitch Miller was? Oh, the bouncing ball? Yes, I know who Mitch Miller was. Right, I like those old song. romantic songs. I've got a spelling song. Stop, stop. It's L-O-V-E today, all day. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We're going to be quiet and let Jeff sing us another song. What do okay. you say, Jeff? What a girl I love. Said 
And I think it's time you learned my loving ways Yeah, she says she loves me She give me a kiss But when I pull her closer She says Darling, you know I need I need to hear the music before I start to dance. I need a little romance. Now the other night while we sat all alone. Built a fire and then we got real close. We talked for a while. We drank some wine and listened to the soul of Patsy Cloud. And she said, Now, honey, this is more what I had in mind. I need a little romance. I need to hear the music before I start to dance. I need a little roll, 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 rather be with and if my dreams would all come true this is what I wish for a little romance a little romance well I need to hear the music before I start to dance, I need a little roll, 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 romance. That's right, darling, a little romance go a long, long way. And the slide trombone comes in. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. I hear you. I hear you. A little romance. A little romance. Oh, I'm so glad you resolved at the end. <laughs> you had me worried there for a minute. Do you I, know what I this is? I went off the air. <laughs> do, you, do you know what this is? A plastic slide trombone. It is. <laughs> Damn it. If we had coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That that would be fabulous. What a great thing this is, everybody. It's, if we it's, ever it's get to play... Bone. If we ever get to play out again, bring it and we'll do that okay, song. Okay, definitely. So you're not you're not the first uh, guest who plays tr uh, mouth trumpet. No, um, I've been practicing a little bit, but I'm not very good. <laughs> I can blow air out of both sides of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm trying to get one side to be the trombone and the harmony to be a trumpet on the other side. <laughs>
Diana, can we do a show with all of our guests that can do the the, the, mouth, the mouth trumpet, trumpet thing? Sure, sure. That's Laura Barron, uh, Matt Holson. Mm -hmm. There were there were some others. Yeah. <laughs> You got the spinning right. Well, that's, yeah, that's half of it. So, so we haven't asked Jeff about his favorite guitar to play yet. Like which which guitar, of all of your guitars, which is your favorite one to play? Well, this one here that I have is, I've had this one about a year and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I played my Epiphone for so long and I really liked that because it had a nice uh, low end to it. But the neck on it, because that guitar and when it came out in the 60s was uh, like an entry level uh, student guitar. And the neck was much narrower. Yeah. And um, the more I got to playing on it, um, the more my fingers were tripping trying to get around. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, the neck's so much smaller. And this is more of a standard size neck. This is made by a guy down in. Uh, Warm Springs, Arkansas, by the name of Jim Price. And uh, it makes exquisite guitars for not much money. Yeah, I so, looked them up here. They look, they look really interesting. Yeah, yeah and, nice. they're, and they're not really expensive. I mean, if you bought this guitar at a, you know, a guitar center, it'd, it'd probably be around four or 5,000 bucks. Mm. But they said, they gave me a deal on it and said I could endorse them, but... Oh, that's cool. We uh, can't get any endorsements, can we? We can't even get snark. <laughs> you got frozen. See, you see, were trying to say something. She, she said something bad about snark, and that's what happened. <laughs> so while she's resolving that, um, how do you feel about playing us another song, Jeff? Well, that's good. I can do that. Um... How much time do we have? I, I want to get one song in for sure. We have um, plenty we, of time. We for you, we have as much time as needed. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and give you the microphone here. Okay. Um, this is a song that I started a long time ago, and I finished about three years ago. Even though it's a very simple song. Um, I uh, I just I remember writing the song and I just had the uh, hook for it and then the other stuff came and this is a song it's on the uh, up the late night moon record it's called Lucky Boy. Honeysuckle sweet, and so are you. If you were me, you'd say the same thing. Life is a pleasure and living is a joy. You make me feel like a lucky boy. I said, lucky boy, lucky boy. The world's a marble, it's my spinning toy. Lucky boy, lucky boy. You make me feel like a lucky boy. I have heard that love is a key. Sometimes I think it might work for me. Life is a pleasure and living is a joy. You make me feel like a lucky boy. I say, lucky boy, lucky boy. The world's a marble, it's my spinning toy. Lucky boy, lucky boy. Pleasure and living is a joy. You 
make me feel like a lucky boy. I said, lucky boy, lucky boy. The world's a marble, it's my spinning toy. Lucky boy, lucky boy. You are my treasure, I'm a lucky boy. Lucky boy. Yay. Jeff, that's uh, one of your cult followings favorite songs of yours. Yeah, it might be. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always a fun song to do and people seem to relate to it on a a joyous level. Oh actually that song was used uh, back in the fall, but I didn't know about it until I got a statement. But I was real happy with that because um, it was the quartet playing on it. And, oh, great. Uh, Where was that used on? I think it was Young and Restless again. Cool. So nice. What advice do you have to uh, songwriters who would love to get their uh, songs? You know, any, any tips? Um, well, I'm still trying to come to grips with it because everything that's gotten used, I have not written for that market or with the intention of that. Um, and I've gone to a lot of these webinars and stuff about how to do this and that. And it, it <laughs> for three or 400 to thousands of dollars, people will tell you essentially what Steve Martin told people when he said, I can tell you how to not pay taxes on a million dollars. First, get a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess, you know, uh, for the most part, I, I guess the big thing is the recordings have to be really uh, top notch. They have to be better than like a lot of times than like album releases um, for TV. Mm -hmm. And. Um, And I guess, you know, just, it's like everything in this business, networking. But yeah, I saw, um, well, I've seen a lot of people show up and talking about their uh, getting stuff, you know, licensed. Um, so, you know, another thing that I've noticed, and if, if this is too long, just, you know, cut me off, but, um, in my particular case, what I've been trying to do is I just try to make the recordings sound good. And I have been um, using a particular program and all these plugins. And then I finally updated my operating system and it has caused havoc. Uh -oh. So I, I have to go back and do all this other stuff. But in the meantime, I stumbled upon using um, Garage Band, which is like an entry level uh, kind of program, but it's pretty powerful and the um, learning curve on it is not very steep. And the big thing for me is it found all my keyboard stuff, uh, which was another thing my tips allowed me to get. Um, and the problem has always been getting a good drum sound. Yeah. You know, drums that sound convincing, and and uh, I just started using this thing and pulled up a program, and it was there. I mean, and I in you know forty minutes, I had a, a eight or nine track song that I mean, it was one I had written, but I had just been stymied about how to get a good drum sound. And uh, this just facilitated it. So I'm, I'm hopeful that a lot of new uh, songs and production will go up a little bit in f terms of the quantity now that I have something that I can work with. Of course, I can always go back to my other thing once I get all those problems resolved. But yeah, it was it was like a horrible, stupid accident, or you know, that turned into have a little silver lining. 
So along with our Valentine's Day theme, and you'll be able to play another song for us, right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, can, we can go on for hours. We can go on for hours. Yeah. So, so Diana, here's a sweet one. Remember the, the song, um, uh, Sealed with a Kiss, right? Though we gotta sing it for the summer. There's, darling, I promise you this. I'll send you all my love every day in a letter sealed with a kiss. Come on, that's a pretty song, isn't it? <sighs> Come on. You got a better kiss. Song. Sealed with a kiss. Swack, right? Sealed with a kiss. I like that song. Isn't that a love song? What? That's not a love song. You give us everything you got. What's that got to do with anything? I thought you wanted a kiss song. Sealed with a kiss. Sealed with a kiss, not a kiss song. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I think we need to be quiet and let Jeff sing another okay. song for us. What do you All think, right. Diana? <laughs> Whatever. And by the way, we have some more watchers. Hi there, Rick Wheeler. Good to see you. And um, Reggie Stout. Hey there, Reg. So, yeah. Hi, folks. Hey, Good Reg. To see everybody. I'm I met Reg on uh, Dave Sherman's Blues Jam on yeah. Thursday nights. I think I met him at, in that Wasilek Circle um, a couple of years ago. Yeah, great guy, great singer and songwriter too. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut us up and let you play another song for us. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Try your biscuits, please. Hey, little mama, can I try your biscuits, please? You know my curiosity is about to get the better. Your smile is as sweet as your blueberry pie. Your smile is as sweet as your blueberry pie. And a stay. Long after we've said Yeah. 
Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love, you have such a cool vibe. I love listening to you play, Jeff. Well, thank you. Such a smooth voice, and your lyrics always have like a little twist to them, a little Todd Snyder-ish. Not, not as snarky as Todd, but there's always like a little clever turn of phrase in your songwriting. Yeah. Um... I think I always liked that about Randy Newman's songs, too. And there was a period when he was all I listened to. Yeah, of course, I must have listened to the Louisiana uh, album a million times. Good Old Boys. Yeah, Good Old yeah. Boys. I love every song on that record. Yeah. I was, all last year I was doing Mr. President. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you have just lost your mind. <laughs> Yep. Thank goodness those days are over. I hope so, but who knows? We can't get. Uh, I, I can't even go there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, let's change the subject back to Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Diana, how about. To know, not no. know him. The is to love. Love, love him Just to see him smile Makes my life worthwhile To know, know, know him yeah. Is to love, love, yeah, love Bill Spector, him Bill and such a romantic I guy Really? <laughs> <laughs> now, you would have to say who wrote it and spoil the whole mood Sorry Thank you Sorry. Well, what do you have to play, Diana? Do you know where he got that the the title of the song? No. To know him is to love him. It was on his father's gravestone. You know, you just ruined the song for me. Thank That's you very true. much. Maybe you'll never play it again. I've got a song that's similar. Makes me think of this one. song but it's not a valentine's day song well okay? if you know him well enough then you get venereal disease which is what this song is all about right vd valentine's day it all connects valentini you know day <laughs> <laughs> right i think we have time for one more jeff song if he would be so gracious would you like to play us one last valentine's day song jeff well okay, or anti-valentine's day song just saying well, I vote for a Valentine's Day song. She votes for an anti, so you choose. Well, I, you know, like I was saying before, I think they're all like, have some sort of thing about romance. And at the same time, if you're writing about romance, it could also be about anti-romance, because it could be satirical. But anyway, this one is called, Nobody Knows How to Talk About True Love. Oh, I love this. Wow. Talk about the things that you want to do. We talk about work and the love we make. We talk all day how much the government take. We can tell our secret to no stranger. We talk about love and we start to claim it. Nobody knows how we talk. Talk about our families and where we were born. We talk about leaving and how we're We talk about lovers and the way they kiss. And 
have the expectations that seems we were always expecting fantasies. Yeah, nobody knows how to talk about true love. Well, I'm right on the floor with a female in Talking to the lowest boy in the world Said he was looking for a lucky Said he gotta be someone out there for me Someone who can love what I'm about Got me nervous Yeah, you got you Cause nobody knows How to talk Nobody know yeah. how to talk. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Really nice. really Perfect great. song for Valentine's Day. Excellent. Thank I've you so some, much. You've got some uh, comments. Rick Wheeler says, I could listen to that well-played guitar all day. And Raquel Blechschmidt says, a big heart. And uh, she likes Joy Division, I guess. And uh, <laughs> Steve Bullwine says, he heard you on Dave Sherman's as well. Really nice sound. Captivating. And Carol Bozell says, love your cherry tree song, although I like to call it the biscuit song. Very nice show. All right. All great. Well, thanks, everybody. Yeah. And everybody, don't forget, tip. What's the tip? What's your tipping address? It, it's hey, up Colin, there. They can me? see it. Okay. It's, oh, there's it's a link. There. Okay. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to share this, because that gets us more eyes, too, as yeah. the week goes by. So, well, yeah. I'll... I want to thank you for having me and congratulate you on the success of your show. Thank you. 34, think, this is our 34th show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. It won't be yeah, long before I, it's a year. Yeah. I disappeared because the like, Pepco is doing work outside because some people got ice, so iced up that their lines fell down or something. Oh, so you I can guess hear they the, plugged in and... You can hear the thunder upstairs because Wifeco is starting to vacuum. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why. I, thank you for being a, a guest on Valentine's Day. And I think we'll end with serenading you. Um, I don't think Diana likes this song, but I do. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's the more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a more. That's my Come on, cue. Diana. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling. Everyone, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Come on, Diana. Hearts will play tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like a gay tarantella. Gay tarantella. I knew him. He lived oh. underneath me when I lived in Rome. Gay Tarantella. Gay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what, what you got, Diana? Uh, let's see. Valentine's Day.
everyone. Happy VD Day.